the grass here is so thick that when you step on it, you feel like you're walking on sponge. It's amazing. Here, look at that. I found a goat trail, so it should be easy enough to walk on down. Now he said that path down there is only, well the rocks around the path are only as wide as the path. So I wanted to get a shot of how skinny it was and the sheer drops to each side. So I'm taking you guys with me. I'm gonna pause the camera for the next bit of trail because there's no need. Be right back. Okay, we're back. And this is the trail. And I was talking, thinking the filming was going and it wasn't, so I have to repeat everything I just said. Over there, those towers are the mines, the entrance to the mine shafts. And evidently, Ian was telling me that those shafts would go thousand feet down straight, and then they would work themselves out into the ground underneath the ocean for a very long way, maybe a mile, I don't know. And that during heavy storms, the, the mine was so close to the ocean floor that during violent storms they would hear the rocks rolling around above their head on the ocean floor. Looking down, that is one long drop. I'm going to put my knee on the ground here so we can see over the edge and down. That is a long way and the shadows aren't helping but boy let me tell you that is uh, an easy hundred foot I'm gonna stand back up very carefully this is a skinny trail but it's not that bad it's not Machu Picchu or the paths on the cliffs in Tibet so we'll walk on down further And I'm going to shut the film off now because I think that we're about where we need to be to set the example. Sorry for all the shakiness of the whole thing, but, you know, amateur. Ta-da! Alright, so long. <laughs>